They say the human mind is a powerful tool. It can be our greatest ally or our worst enemy, especially in the hands of those who seek control. Dark psychology is the study of how psychological tactics can be used to manipulate and control others, sometimes in ways that are subtle yet deeply impactful. Think about a time when you felt persuaded to do something against your better judgment or when you doubted your own instincts after a conversation. It's very possible that dark psychology was at play. So what truly is dark psychology? Dark psychology refers to the study of the human mind and behavior that involves manipulation, persuasion and control, often for self-serving or harmful purposes. This field explores how people use psychological tactics to influence others' thoughts and actions, frequently bypassing ethical considerations. One, not a formalized branch of psychology, dark psychology draws from concepts in traditional psychology, such as social influence, cognitive biases, and behavioral conditioning techniques often discussed under this umbrella. So why does dark psychology matter? In a world filled with persuasive ads, carefully curated social media, and at times, manipulative relationships, understanding these tactics help us recognize when we are being influenced. From marketing campaigns to high-stakes political debates, and even within personal relationships, dark psychology techniques are used to sway, manipulate, and control without us realizing it. This knowledge is more than just academic. It's a shield. Being able to recognize manipulation gives us power over our choices and a clearer view of reality. So what are the key tactics in dark psychology? To give one prominent technique is gaslighting. Gaslighting occurs when someone tries to make you question your reality to the point where you might doubt your own memories or perceptions. Another key concept is narcissism. Narcissistic individuals often display an excessive need for admiration and are skilled at exploiting others for their gain. Many experts have contributed to understanding of these manipulative behaviors like reciprocity. People feel obligated to return favors, which can lead to compliance with requests. For example, salespeople often offer free samples or trials of products, knowing that customers are more likely to buy after receiving something for free. Comparison When we are presented with two options, perception of the second option is often influenced by how it compares to the first. For example, car salespeople often show a more expensive model first than a lower priced model that's still higher than average. By comparison, the second model feels like a more reasonable purchase. Commitment and consistency Whilst we commit to something, we tend to act in ways that are consistent with that commitment. Even if it leads us to make poor decisions, retailers often ask customers to sign up for small, no-commitment newsletters. Whilst customers have signed up, they are more likely to make a purchase because they feel a commitment to the brand. Social proof. We often look to others to guide our decisions. So if we see others engaging in a behavior, they are more likely to follow suit. Online reviews serve as a social proof. A high number of positive reviews for a product or service encourages others to purchase it, assuming that so many people can't be wrong. Liking. We are more easily influenced by people we like or find attractive, making charm a powerful tool for manipulation. A real estate agent engages in small talk to find common interests such as shared hobby, this rapport makes potential buyers more comfortable and more likely to trust and buy from the agent. Scarcity. When something is perceived as limited or scarce, we tend to want it more, leading to impulsive decisions driven by fear of missing out. Retailers use limited time offers like only three left in stock or sale ends tonight, creating a sense of urgency that prompts quick purchases. Authority. We tend to comply with requests from perceived authority figures which can lead to manipulation if the authority is misused. A doctor recommends a specific brand for medication on a commercial which makes viewers more likely to trust and buy that brand, believing in the doctor's authority.
The list goes on with complex techniques that deepen this realm of manipulation like love bombing, excessive attention to create dependency, triangulation, using a third person to create jealousy or competition, mirroring, mimicking someone's behavior to build trust, the silent treatment, ignoring someone to punish and control them, projection, attributing to one's own fault to someone else's, guilt tripping, using guilt to manipulate someone's action, emotional blackmail, threatening self-harm or harm to control someone, fear-mongering, instilling fear to create control, blame-shifting, deflecting responsibility by blaming others, false flattery, using insincere praise to gain favor, playing the victim, acting wronged to manipulate sympathy. Several well-known figures have used dark psychology techniques to manipulate others. Machiavelli, known as a historical thinker, his writings advocated for manipulation in leadership. Hitler used fear, propaganda and reputation to influence public opinion. Cult leaders like Charles Manson and Jim Jones, the infamous cult leaders isolated and controlled followers through dependency and emotional blackmail. Ted Bundy, the notorious serial killer, used charm to gain trust. Bernie Madoff, known for running one of the largest Ponzi schemes in history, exploited authority and exclusivity to defraud investors. And Elizabeth Holmes, the founder of Theranos, a healing technology company, used authority and emotional manipulation to maintain a facade of success. Each used psychological tactics to achieve power or control, often with harmful effects. So what's the real impact of these tactics? For individuals, it can lead to self-doubt, anxiety and dependency. Those who fall victim to dark psychology may find themselves questioning their self-worth, often becoming reliant on the manipulator for a sense of stability. On a broader scale, this kind of behavior brings toxic relationships and creates environments where trust is scarce, whether that's in a workplace, a friendship circle or within families. There is also a deeply ethical issue here. Dark psychology techniques erode honesty and integrity, undermining genuine human connection. When we understand these tactics, we can begin to reclaim a control of our lives and interaction. So how can we protect ourselves? First, it's vital to recognize the red flags. Be aware of people who are inconsistent in their stories, those who excessively flatter, or anyone who makes you feel guilty for setting healthy boundaries. If someone's behavior makes you question your own reality or leads to more confusion than clarity, it's worth taking a step back. Building psychological resilience can also help. This means practicing critical thinking, which allows us to evaluate the intent behind someone's words. Setting and enforcing personal boundaries is another powerful tool as it creates a buffer between you and those who might use these tactics to their advantage, ultimately. While dark psychology may seem daunting, understanding it is a path to empowerment. By recognizing these tactics, we gain the power to make conscious choices and to build relationships grounded in respect rather than control. As Viktor Frankl once said, between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is a power to choose a response. In a response lies a growth and a freedom. So let's use this knowledge to claim that space, make empowered choices and shape a world rooted in integrity and respect.